Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we're here again at Emerald Lake, New York, to do a little bit of float fishing for the chain pickerel. Now, pretty much the same spot is what I'm going to be interested in checking out, but first of all, I need to get a little bit lighter line because the heavier line seems to scare the fish. And we're going to be floating, float fishing with uh, shiners with the 10 foot 10 inch Brutus rod. I'm going to go ahead and change this float too so I can try to get a little bit more distance. Again we're going to be fishing out in this area just beyond the lily pads. And I've got my leader set about 40, in 40 inches. 30 to 40 inches. I think 40 does a little bit better for me than 30 but somewhere in that area. And like all good float fishing, you have to be patient. But it usually doesn't take too long. There we go. And this guy looks like he's going to be fairly good size. Yep, he is definitely going to be good size. Now remember, you do not have to have this size of a rod to fish for these guys. You just need a good matchstick rod or telefloat rod, and that can usually handle it. There we go. There's a trophy chain pickerel. 3.905 pounds, at plus 47 XP. Good XP. I will try it again. I think I'm going to eh, do it right here. Make sure that you kind of shift around a little bit where you cast because if you keep casting in the same location you're going to be waiting a bit longer but hopefully we'll get some interest here I thought I saw something biting on it there for a second, so I'm just going to kind of hang out here just a few seconds. There we go. thought I saw something. Yeah, if you're here during the peak time, whatever that happens to be depending upon the weather, these guys usually you can catch them with flow fishing one right after another It'd be perfectly honest to get them more frequently fishing this way as opposed to lure fishing now he's just a regular chain pickerel but still decent XP and usually with this I would say probably one out of every four probably trophies most of the time And if you get real lucky, you might be able to get a unique. So that means go, people. Yeah, I might try for some unique later, but right now we're primarily focused on these fish. There we go. Just going after the chains. Now, if you're fishing with a different rod, you probably can't just reel in like this. You may have to fight it a bit. But this rod can handle a regular size chain pickle with no problem. Yeah, see? He's about a pound and a half, plus 16. Her out again. And we wait. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah, this is my favorite type of fishing, guys. I just like to sit back, relax, let the fish come to me. I think the lure fishing's all the rave, but 
This is the kind of fishing I like to do for real. I mean, this and catfish fishing, the same method. Now, you can kind of hit your right mouse button every now and then. Sometimes that has a tendency to entice them. Remember, these are predators, and they are looking for for food, live food. All right, finally. Good God. I don't think that fish is ever going to come get it. All right, I think we've got another decent sized one here, so hopefully... got here 1.2 well I think he's still pretty pretty decent size anyway guys this is the area right over here cast it in this location I swear to god you will get them just got to be patient you, know, you might have a lull now and then like I did earlier and then other times they just keep attacking. There we go. See, that didn't take too long. That didn't take too long at all. I realize I could have cut that out instead of leaving that bit of empty space there <laughs> no talking but truth is you gotta kinda see where what kind of patience is involved here alright there we go that'll do her anyway guys please be sure to share comment like subscribe and I will be back with another episode of fishing planet so until then I'll see you later bye bye mm -hmm.